So in Skyrim, I have not joined the Stormcloak Rebellion. I'm going to do that right now in Xbox Series S quality. So you can see me as my character in Skyrim. Let's move around now, let's learn some more and let's join the Stormcloak Rebellion. So right now I am located in... Once my marker moves out of the way, Windhelm. So I'm in Windhelm, which is where you need to be in order to complete this mission. Because it is a quest. Alright, so let's move around, let's learn a few things around the town. See, it's quite snowy in Skyrim, as it is in most locations here and there. The winter is persistent. So let's uh, let's go into the uh, Candle Hearth Hall. Let's make our entrance in here. We have a loading screen. You suddenly create some memes out of the loading screens here. Auto saving. We can change our view as well, of course. So we can have first person view. So I can, you know, draw out my stuff here. Not going to do that at the moment. Change my view. Let's talk to some of the civilians. I made my fortune as a sea captain, but now I'm retired. How are you? The townsfolk call me captain because I used to be a sailor. So this guy's a captain. He's talking about something to do with fishing or something or another. I can talk to him. For example, I can ask him what kind of captain are you? He's told us he's a, he was a sailor of some sort. Well, nothing. At least not anymore. Folk just call me that because of what I used to do. Okay. I was a sailor for many a year. I made my coin as a trader, and in time, I bought my own ship. When I retired here in Windhelm, most folk already knew me as Captain Lonely Gale. I did I am just stuck. Captain Lonely Gale. Well, you got some person here eating some bread next, so I'm going to talk Fair to them. Fair winds and calm seas. That's a new sailor's parting. I'm a sailor on the North Wind. Oh, you're all sailors. Windhelm for a while. Okay, interesting. They're all sailors. Well, you were cheeky pushing past me, so what's your deal? Some time on solid land. Oh, I bet. Hey, lady. This here's Candle Hearth Hall. Great rooms upstairs, and there's a bed for rent on the ground floor. Of course, as you know, in Skyrim, one of the uh, main fresh features baked is... bread and good cheese if you're after a bite to eat. <laughs> of course, you can rent a room, and that will help you to sleep and recover. So that's something you can do. I'm um, looking for work any leads. Why is it called Candle Hearth Hearth? All? Did you see the candle above the fire upstairs? It was lit 163 years ago, back oh. when this building was the home of a grand warrior named Vundheim. Okay, Vundheim. When word came that he'd fallen, his son Durokt lit the candle in his honor. Nobody knows why it still burns. That's uh, maybe magic, you know, we are playing Skyrim. Might be one of those things, you know. I'm not gonna ask about any rumors. I'm not gonna ask about any magic. Your stay, and don't break nothing. Of course not. I'll be as gentle as can be. I just move through. I walk around a gray quarter and let them gray skins know what I think of them. You let them know what you think of them. <laughs> yeah. What's, what's your deal? You. You a dark elf lover? Get out of our city, you filthy piece of trash. Hey, yo, you racist against Dark Elves. Yo, I don't like... Why do you hate Dark Elves? Let's ask that question. They're parasites. They're living in our city under our protection. What, what do they do for us? Nothing. I know the High King invited them here, but he didn't ask me or anyone else first. Maybe he should have. Hey, I don't like your attitude. Don't like it? Too bad. This is our city. Ours! I don't think I can take you. One hundred septum say I can punch you back where you came from. <coughs> you on? Let's pull. Right. Fists only. And none of that magic stuff either. Let's go. Come on. Go on. Where'd you go? Mm. Yeah. You ain't got nothing out here. Come on. Bush you up. What are you doing now? I'm not sure. Where are you going with yourself? Talk about dark elves. I'll get you dark elves. <laughs> you get mess with dark elves. Oh, my bad. Oh, what the hell? Let's get Okay, hold up, hold up. We got problems here. We got issues, bro. We got, we got freaking issues, bro. I pressed the wrong button once. Now you got issues with me. Come, come. Hold it there. This time. Keep your distance. Uh huh. He started it. What happened here? Another girl killed. This is Susanna, from Candle Hearth Hall. Served me a drink just a few nights ago. Okay. I can't say I knew her. Why are you talking to me? 
<laughs> Has this happened before? Janus the third. It's always the same. Young girl killed at night, body torn up. <laughs> what? What? Are the murders being investigated? <laughs> We're stretched thin as it is with a war. Nobody has the time to spend on this. Not pleasant, but it's the truth. Could you use any help? This is the only thing that I can ask. Right, so. If you want to help, ask some of these gawkers if they saw anything useful. I'm going to examine the body before the rats can get to it. You do that? I was talking to this racist... Because <laughs> I still got a problem. Hey, yo. Every night, I walk around a grey quarter and let them grey skins know what I think of them. I could end him. I really could. Hey. Let's do it. to dig a big hole. Throw all them dark elves and Argonians in it. And let them tear each other to pieces. You really think dark elves are imperial spies? Wouldn't surprise me. They've done nothing to help in the fight for Skyrim's freedom. Okay. Those Thalmor elves too. I bet they're working together. Oh yeah, I bet. Round up some men and take us a few prisoners to interrogate. That's it. I don't like your don't attitude. Like it? Too bad. This is our city. Ours! You don't think I can take you? 100 septum sec and punch you back where you came from. I bet I'll punch you back to your mama. Alright, let's All go. Alright. Fists only. Yeah, man, fists. None of that magic stuff either. Let's go. Of course. Come on. Come on. What you got? <laughs> Racist ass. What's up, you? Come here, man. Come here, man. Come here, man. Come here, man. Back to you. Racist ass. Come here. Talk about dark elves. I give you about dark elves. Yeah, you can push you up there. Where you going? Where you going? Where you going? Yeah, cool. Yeah, it ends now. All right. Come here, man. Push you up. Now what? Now what? That's right. Detroit, right? Detroit, right? Taught you to fight. Keep those hands up. Uh, who said that? But they, yeah, yeah. What's up? That wasn't a fair swing. I wasn't it. Fight. <laughs> He's, he's down, he's done. You mean fight? You gonna get back up? You're just gonna stand there and take it. Fight. Yeah, he's gonna stand there and take it. He's done. He's done. That's right. You better walk away. Drive that snow back to the ground. Come on. Yeah, yeah. You lost? Give me my money. Here. You're damn right. Got you fresh baked bread and good cheese if you're after a bite to eat. I'm cool. Keep my fists out just in case. Music's already started. It's a whoopy ass. All right, go ahead. You wanna go again? Good to see you again, friend. Yeah, now you're friends. It's a bush you up. I right, what's up? Every night, I walk around a gray quarter and let them gray skins know what I think of them. Yeah. I'm ready to let you know what I think about you. They're parasites. They're living in our city under our protection. <laughs> yeah. What do they do for us? Nothing. Oh, yeah. The High King invited them here, but he didn't ask me or anyone else first. Oh, yeah, I bet he didn't. Maybe he should have. Yeah. You are the High King. Okay, yeah, I can't fight him again. Get out of my face. Hey, you... Hey, yo, hey, yo don't try me, bro. Don't try me, bro. Don't try me, bro. You, mm, hey. Look at you. You're doing... <laughs> You got me. Oh, you, you, you turn it into a knife fight. Man, turn it into a knife fight. Okay. Okay, I'll show you what a knife fight looks like, yo. I show. Right, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Hold up a sec. Hold up a sec. Give my eyes. Make sure I get my items ready. You ain't ready for this. Yeah, you ain't ready for this. Now what? Yeah, yeah. There you go, move yourself. Mm, you do something. Mm. This yeah, that's right. To Skyrim's truest sons and daughters. Yeah. The Stormcloaks. Who's talking? I get the Stormcloaks. Mm. Stop! In the name of the Yarl. We drink to our youth. Oops. To right, looks like man's in trouble. I'm out. For the age of oppression is now nearly done. I just go sleep. The bed's on. We'll drive out the empire from this land. Oh yeah. With our blood. What? Yeah. Man must be out of your blasted mind. <laughs> what the frick? <laughs> anyway, we were going to do the thing with the... Uh, you know, we were actually going to do the mission at one point. 
we really was but uh this guy just had to try it he just had to try it our hero, our hero, don't get back up heart. i tell you i tell you the dragonborn there's someone there no no one's there the i can't believe he's trying it again <laughs> <laughs> you damn jet there. Come here, what you got? Yeah, wait. Mm. Come here, man. Mm. Yeah. Now you're done. I bet somebody there. Beware the beware the I'm out of here. This pub sucks. Yeah, 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 we dealt with the races, boy. Now let's go. Alright. Okay. Let's get that out of my system! <laughs> Stonecloak Rebellion. What's going on here? Always sad when someone has to die. What? You got a naked girl there? Wait. What? I know you. Yeah, you do? What's up? Wait. I know you. Now you're making a mistake. The mistake was you showing your face. You've committed crimes against Skyrim and her people. And it's time to face the Jarl's justice. Uh, I'll pay you off. Good enough. I'll just confiscate any stolen goods you're carrying. And you're free to go. All right then. Always sad when someone has to die. I know, yeah. Uh, tell me about it. Me the Dawn Guard. Vampire hunters or something in the old fort near Riften. Oh, really? I consider joining up myself. Okay, hunting vampires. Sad when someone has to die. What up? Did you see what happened? Sorry, I thought I saw a fellow running away, but didn't get a good look at him. A fellow. Fur coming out of your ears. Not that I can see. Well, thank you for asking such a weird question. I was it? Another one. Terrible. <clears throat> Did you see what happened here? I heard a scream and came running, but she was already like this when I got here. I understand. Sad when someone has to die. Ah, uh, yeah, you're right. Let's talk to this I person. Only for a charity. This Did is shame. Did you see what happened? Uh, no, sorry. But I did notice that her coin purse was still intact, so whoever did this wasn't after gold. I'm going to keep preparing the body, if you'll excuse me. Okay, thank you. Companion. Spare a coin for a poor old woman. I'm report to the guard. Is it Red God? I've spoken to the... I've spoken to the witnesses. Like always, nobody saw anything useful. Bastards escaped again. Uh, there might be more to this, if you'll let me help. Look, friend, if you think you can do better than the Legion of Guards, be my guest. I need to talk to your leaf, though. We can't just let anyone go around claiming to be on official business. If he's willing, then we'll talk. Okay, uh, your leaf. I guess he's the all around here. Anyway, let's go and have a look around. I need to find the Stormcloak Rebellion because I don't know where these boys are, to be honest with you. I'm just seeing a bunch of guards and um, murder. And, uh, you know, that little mystery going on there. Hall of the Dead. Could be something. I doubt it's going to be anything to do with the rebellion. It's just going to be another... It's going to be a dungeon full of things to do in a dungeon. Nothing to do with the rebellion, surely. Unless I see a note about a rebellion or anything, I'm coming straight back out of there because... It's not going to be in here, is it? Let's be honest. It's just going to be a dungeon with some gems. Just a feeling. Just a hunch. Back to Windhelm. Ooh. Don't take this the wrong way, but you look a little sickly. Working in Wendhelm is great. I get to see Ulfric up close. You really admire Ulfric. I'll just go and talk to him. Don't buy discounted armor. It's on Gold Wall uh, Anvil. 
blacksmith quarters. You guys. My twin sister a while back. Have you ever lost anyone close? Yes. Let's move on. What up? Nilsine has been wrecked since her sister was killed. Very sad. I've been a bit out of sorts since since our daughter was taken from us. Oh Lord, have mercy! Um, Fruits and vegetables, all delicious and affordable. I'm cool, you know. Can I just morbid turn? <laughs> Play games to escape reality, not join. For, the, for it to join my reality. <laughs> so, uh, throw in some stuff. Oh, blah, blah, blah. I made my fortune as a sea captain, but now I'm retired. You're not Captain Lonely Gale. I'm the cook of the Candlehearth Hall. You're the cook or something. You, you, okay. You just get in the firewood. You looked at me the whole time you sung that axe. That is completely dangerous. I am not messing with you. Can't just throw the big logs on the fire. Gotta have the little bits too. You're gonna poke somebody there. <laughs> Moving on. Man's not even looking at what he's doing. Press the wrong button. Uh, this place here. Ooh. House of Curiosities. But so far we have not found the uh, storm cloaks here. Then it's true what everyone is saying. That Aventus Artino is doing a black sacrament? Trying to summon the Dark Brotherhood? Oh, Grimbar. Always with the nonsense. No, no, of course not. Those are just tales. Fine. Then I'll invite him out to play. He lives right there. I'm going to knock on his door. No, child. Wait! That boy. That house. They are cursed. Ha! Huh. Then I'm right. I knew it. He's trying to have somebody killed. All right. I won't deny it, child. What you heard is true. <clears throat> But Aventus Oratino walks a dark path. His actions can lead only to ruin. Now, enough. We will speak no more of this. I am the only friend you need. Are you a dark elf? Dogs are nice to me. Good thing too. Her father would run them off. You know that met some of them already, I think. Uh, so. Head the way through here and discover some more. So at the main hall where the Yarl's gonna be. Palace of Kings discovered. Palace of the Kings. Algriff won't give us a straight answer. He's a true Nord. He'll come around. Don't be so sure of that. We've intercepted couriers from Solitude. The Empire is putting a great deal of pressure on White Run. And what would you have me do? If he's not with us, he's against the us. The are finding victory across the land. He knows that. They all know that. How long are you going to wait? You think I need to send Borgroff a stronger message? If by message you mean shoving a sword through his gullet, Taking his city and leaving him in disgrace. There's no glory in war. Statement, don't it's you just think? something they tell souls so, so they'll risk their start lives. This war in right, let me listen to the y'all. Soon. I still say you should take them all out like you did dead King Torig. Torig was merely a message to the other Jarls. Whoever we replace them with will need the support of our armies. We're ready when you are. Things hinge on White Run. If we can take the city without bloodshed, all the better. But if not... The people are behind you. Many, I fear, still need convincing. Then let them die with their false kings. Oh, right, okay. We've been soldiers a long time. We know the price of freedom. But people are still weighing things in their hearts. What His voice. Skyrim to wager. They have families to think of. How many of their sons and daughters follow your banner? We are their families. Well put, friend. Tell me, Gotmar, why do you fight for me? I'd fight Am I you into in the, the way. depths of oblivion. You know that. Yes, but why <laughs> do you fight? If not for me, what then? I'll die before elves dictate the fates of men. 
Are we not one in this? I'm still listening to the conversation. In my arms, dying on foreign soil. I fight for their wives and children whose names I heard whispered in their last breath. Okay. I fight for we few who did come home. Only yeah. To find our country full of strangers wearing familiar faces. Okay. I fight for my people. Impoverished to pay the debts of an empire too weak to rule them. Mm. It grants them criminals for wanting to rule themselves. All right. I fight so that all the fighting I've already done hasn't been for nothing. He fights. I fight. He fights. He must. He must. Your words give voice to what we all feel, Ulfric. And that's why you will be High King. But the day words are enough will be the day when soldiers like us are no longer needed. The storm all right, okay. finding victory across the land. Who the hell? We're such a day. <laughs> But in the meantime, we have a war to plan. Sir, there continues to be unrest in the Grey Quarter. Blasted Dark Elves. I don't suppose you can tell them that I presently have larger concerns, such as all the sky. They don't seem to be very sympathetic to our cause, sir. <laughs> so much here. Let me know if you hear anything more substantial. Of course, my lord. I'm poaching Jarl Euphric. A storm cloak. May we talk? Camps in the pale, entertaining thoughts of battle. The Empire still underestimates the force of our cause. It will be their undoing. We need to talk. Only the foolish or the courageous approach a Jarl without summons. Do I know you? You will. I believe we've already met. Is that so? Ah, uh, yes. I you saved you. Destined for the chopping block, if I'm not mistaken. They tried. I helped Roloff escape. He said he had vouched for me. I was set free. I couldn't have gone anywhere. I couldn't have gone anywhere. I just Real loss of life. I hope that's true. He's a damn good man. But he hasn't returned yet. So I'll need to wait for his account. For now, speak with Galmar. I'm always looking for able fighters. Not everyone can say they made it out of Helga. Seems we're all branded villains these days. So long as your criminal past stays in the past, and you fight for me with honor and integrity, we'll welcome you into our ranks. Aye, but in the meantime, we have a war to plan. <laughs> he's, he's talking from all the way over there. Aye, right, yo, listen, Speak I need to join Dalmar. you. He'll size you up and see where we can best use your talents. Talk to who? Okay, how goes the war? Dalius has camps in the Pale, entertaining thoughts of battle. The Empire still underestimates the force of our cause. It will be their undoing. At Halga, they said you shouted the king to death. Not entirely true, though not entirely false either. Any Nord can learn the way of the voice by studying with the Greybeards. Given enough ambition and dedication, my shouting torque to the ground proved he had neither. However, it was my sword piercing his heart that killed him. Are you fighting this war? Why did you kill the High King? I killed Torek to prove our wretched condition. How is the High King supposed to be the defender of Skyrim if he can't even defend himself? That is a good point. Some call you a murderer. And what of his widow? Don't she claim the throne? And what of his widow? Indeed, Elisif has become Jarl of Solitude. Historically and conveniently home of the High King, backed by Imperial interests. But the Moot has not yet met to name a High Queen. And they won't. Not as long as I have any say in it. Some call you a murderer. I challenged him in the traditional way, and he accepted. There were many witnesses. No murder was committed. True, he didn't stand a chance against me. But that was precisely the point. He was a puppet king of the Empire, not a high king of Skyrim. His father before him, perhaps, but not Torig. He was too privileged and too foolish. 
more interested in entertaining his queen than ruling his country. Do you desire to be the High King? There hasn't been a true High King in Skyrim for generations. For too long, he's been handpicked by the Emperor and given emphatic nods by milk drinking Jarls addicted to Imperial coin. It's time we had a real High King, one of our own making. How did you become to be the Jarl of Eastmarch? My father, the Great Bear of Eastmarch, died during my imprisonment after the Markarth incident. I, his only son, Forced to deliver his eulogy via letter I had smuggled out of prison. Mm. Such as the love of Titus Mead for his subjects. When mm. finally set free, I returned to Windhelm and was greeted by a city in mourning. At one with my own grief and anger. <laughs> Clamoring in angry voices. Calling out for justice. Oh, mm. they sat me on the throne. The throne of Isgomor. The throne of my father. His last will. I only hope I can prove worthy of that honor. We already know why you're fighting the war. We don't need to ask. But I'm gonna ask anyway. Because we're done bleeding for an empire that won't bleed for us. Untold numbers of Nords died defending the empire against the Dominion. And for what? Skyrim being sold to the Thalmor so the Emperor could keep his throne. We're fighting because our own yards. Once strong, wise men have become fearful and blind to the people suffering. <laughs> when Skyrim gets real. Skyrim man. needs heroes. <laughs> and there's no one else but us. <laughs> no doubt. Okay. Thank you. Carlos, watch over you. <clears throat> what the hell, boy? How close were you to my face? The Empire well, thinks it holds Valkyrie from us. But the souls of Skyrim's bravest are buried there and will fill our hearts and strengthen our blades. Uh -huh. Oh, now you want to turn back. Dude, you're just in my face, bro. What's up? Hmm. Helga, now. Ulfric told us quite the story. If you made it through all that, you're likely worth something to me. But first, tell me. Why is a red guard want to fight for Skyrim? Why well, you got a problem with red guards, bro? You got a problem with red <laughs> So you only take Nords? Is that what you're saying? You don't take us red guards. What's your problem? You mistake me. I'm not saying no. Just wondering about your intentions. We're yeah. not looking for cell swords. The Stormcloaks need dedicated men and women who are devoted to the cause and willing to die for it. And you think a red guard wouldn't be able to join? <laughs> That's why I'm here. I want to join. It's like the, the game knows what I was about to say. Skyrim is home to more than just Nords, is what I should say. Fair enough. Just give him but some. Are you reason. willing to die for your home? You actually have no choice at this point. Look, it says, "I want to fight the Empire. I'll bleed for the chance to do so." Or, "That's why I'm here. I want to join." Right. So the one that actually makes sense is to be new if you want to be more neutral would be the tough one all right but before i can put you to use i need to know how much you can take i have a little test for you i can handle anything you throw at me but i'll ask what kind of test because i want to be smart the kind men use to measure themselves i'm sending you to serpent stone island if you survive you pass if you die well you weren't going to be much use to me anyway. A uh, true test of metal, not some weaselly test. I've probably been out there. One second, no. I'll be right back. Does every recruit have to do this? Or are you just doing this because only the ones I'm not sure about. This will prove your abilities, but more importantly, it will prove your commitment. 
Understood. I'm off to kill that ice wraith. I'll be back soon. We'll see about that, won't we? Here, take this. You need it. Use it on the island. Don't lose it. That's all the help you're getting. Try not to die. <laughs> he gave something. He gave a... Was it Ice Wraith Bane? And something else I didn't quite see. Causes 50 points of poison damage. Yeah, see, you can already see I've already killed an Ice Wraith before. So I already know what I need to do. I'm not sure what the other item was that he gave. Oh yeah, I need to talk to you. Long cloaks are finding victory across the land. Uh -huh. I'm not much of a strategist, but Lord Ulfric listens to my counsel all the same. I heard about these murders. These are difficult times indeed, when men stalk their brethren like beasts. My men are stretched thin as it is. If you offer your aid, I gladly accept. The guards will be told to assist you as necessary. I'm happy to lend a hand as much as I can as well. Cool. I've already examined the crime scene. Alright, so uh, I'm off. Thank you, Stonecloak people. A nice little hall of kings here. Uh, let's, you got barracks. Let's just quick look at your barracks. Got any spare weapons up in here? It doesn't look like you'll have any spare weapons up in here. You just got. I'm telling you, I heard it. Howling. Those werewolf tales are true. Uh, I'm not gonna say that I'm one of them. Why have we been here? Werewolves in the barracks. Stay out of trouble, Red God. Yeah, of course. These are the jail cells. I understand. Gotta keep my eyes open. Damn dragons could swoop down at any time. Yeah, sure. I'm... Answer to yourself, sneak thief. Whatever. <laughs> here, on the west of the road lies Kronvanger Cave. Stay away from that cursed place and the vampires. Said something about vampires. <clears throat> Uh, let's make our way out of the Hall of Kings. Is that fur coming out of your ears? <laughs> that fur coming out of your ears. <laughs> uh, gonna get, I'm gonna, well, first I'm going to do is I'm going to... Uh, wrong button. I'm going to pass the time. 6pm. So about like... 12 hours might do it. Be a bit brighter. Okay, there we go, ladies and gentlemen. Just been playing Skyrim, and we have joined the Stormcloak Rebellion. As I said, I would at the start of the gameplay. It's really good Skyrim Xbox Series S quality gameplay. Thank you for watching. See you in the next one.